Have you ever wondered what the difference is or why one is better than the other? Stay tuned to find out. In the last video, we discussed the vegetable group. Remember, the average adult should be eating about two and a half cups of vegetables each day in a variety of colors each week. These are the power foods that are very low in calories and high in nutrients, especially our dark leafy greens. So don't skip the greens. Today, we're going to look at the grain group. The grain group includes a variety of tasty foods including cereals, pastas, and breads. Any food item that is made from the seed of the plant is considered a grain, and not all grains come from wheat. Rye, rice, and oats, to name a few, are also grains, so you have a lot of tasty foods to choose from. In addition, you can also choose between refined grains and whole grains. But what do these words really mean, and what's the difference? Let's take a look at a cross-section of a grain. A grain of wheat is made up of three main parts, the bran, the endosperm, and the germ. The bran is the tough outer layer, and it is full of fiber and vitamin B. The endosperm is the starchy middle layer. It contains some proteins and vitamins, and last but not least, the germ is the core. The germ contains B vitamins, vitamin E, many phytochemicals, and healthy fats. All three of these together provide amazing health benefits when we eat them, and that's what a whole grain is made of. A whole grain product is a product that is made using all three parts of the grain, so you get all the fiber, vitamins, and nutrients from the seed. In contrast, a refined grain product has only the starchy middle layer, the endosperm. And while it does make a lighter, fluffier product that is pretty tasty, you miss out on most of the fiber and many vitamins that you need. And even refined grains that have been enriched do not make up for what is lost. For this reason, the USDA recommends that we make at least half of our grains whole grains every day. But how much is that? As I've said before, your daily recommended amounts of each food group depend on your recommended calorie intake, which is determined by your age, gender, and activity level. The table above from ChooseMyPlate.gov shows the amount that is appropriate for people who are active for less than 30 minutes per day. Those who are more active may be able to consume more while staying within their calorie needs. But what does an ounce look like, you may ask? Well, one ounce of grain is equal to one slice of bread, a half a cup cooked oats, or one four and a half inch pancake. Visit choosemyplate.gov slash eat healthy slash grains to see more equivalents like these. Finally, if you want to know if a product you're eating is a whole grain, there's an easy way to check. Just look at the ingredient list. The word whole should be listed with the first ingredient. It may be whole grain wheat, whole grain oat, or whole grain wheat flour to name a few, but it will always include the word whole, and it should always be the first ingredient since the ingredients are listed in the order of most to least. So if the first ingredient is sugar, that product is made mostly of sugar. So what's the final word? The average adult should be eating 5 to 8 ounces of grains each day depending on age, gender, and activity level. Make sure that you get the right amount of grains for your body and try to make at least half of those grains whole grains each day.